Well, first question, what happened to Thrax? Yeah. <laughs> um, say a lot. What happened to Thrax? Yeah. Um, to be honest, mm, I like to not talk about my um. You felt the way when you came home and Thrax was doing what they was doing? Nah, fuck no, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. I was so proud. When my mother, I cried tears of joy. I was proud. Yeah. Hell yeah, they did everything. And they did it all without me. Made hit songs without me. Yeah. And they wasn't rapping before me. Yeah. But it was just like, I was putting them in situations to where though like, they beefing with niggas and they're not supposed to be beefing because they're not beefing dudes. You feel me? Do see. I'm putting. I apologize. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I then I like fuck you. Niggas saying Big Flock fell off. I'm smoking any of you niggas under the table. I, I, it be getting me gut for real for real when a nigga tell me I fell off. Cause it be like, I just don't drop no music for real for real. Do Big Flock give a fuck about being a rap star? If I'm being realistic Talk with you, I'm being kind of, I gave you my word, I'm gonna be honest nah, with anything fact. you ask me. That's a f They say the Shy Glizzy really diss you on your own song. And if so, did y'all have a conversation about it? Uh. Is IDK using this fitted hat campaign as an olive branch? Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. I yeah. hear what you're saying. Let me ask you something, though. Ask. Do you feel like this? Is, this? is this coming from a question from you? I worry about my peace more than I worry about anything else in the world. We'll bring you peace. Uh. DC, what up? Northeast, what up? East Coast, what up? We international, Ryan. DC, what up? PG, what up? USA, what up? East Co I don't even know. We all over the place. We international, Ryan. Hey, look. We had shit in here. Thanks to our sponsors, man. Mr. Roblado and uh, Flow and Funnels. Find him at the Green Circle. Find him at, at Mr. Roblado. Oh, we got a hell of an episode. You know, I, I don't say that shit lightly. I know niggas be like, damn, is he just saying that every time? But nah, we coming with hit after hit. And this time no different. I um I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about who many consider to be the originator of what they talking about this DMV flow is, right? Now you see everybody kind of using the style that a lot of people give credit to this man creating, right? You see a whole era, a whole generation of rappers who really possibly came up in one of his worst moments, right? In his life, we're going to talk about it. But I just want to, man, give some uh, respect and some flowers to the one and only Big Flock. How you doing, big guy? Hey, man, what's up, my boy? I appreciate the flowers. Yeah, no man. question, no question, no question. Listen, I could talk about the Spotify I could talk about the Apple Music. I could talk about the Instagram numbers, the YouTube numbers, right? You could drop a trailer and people waiting. They holding their breath, right? A lot of niggas do, oh, drop 50 such and such, and I'm going to drop the video, and it'd be two people in the comments, right? right? You do that shit and exceed what them numbers are, right? Right. A lot of niggas never even seen that type of access. Ah, I mean... I get, I get, I get, I mean, I get the same shit that everybody else. Get the get. fuck out of here, for real. Like, it's a lot of niggas that been trying to get the way you at, but can't get that to that man, to that. Man, listen, bro. Like one thing about me, bro, I don't lie. Yeah, you feel me? Like I have bad days. Yeah, I have to wear though. Somebody might post a joint on their YouTube. It's of me, and that shit might only get a hundred likes in three days. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I might got something I post on my page. I might get a hundred thousand. Yeah, you know shit like that, like. It, but it still might take time. You just you, never know. You said if somebody else posts some shit of you, it don't get the it same. It could be me too. It could be me too. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's been times I probably had on a fucking them up ass outfit that you can't deny. Yeah. So you gotta like it. Yeah. You can't deny it. Yeah. It might be sometimes that I think I'm fucking them up and you might not. So you might not like it that day. You feel me? Like, it just be like that. You know what I mean? When I was talking about one of your worst moments, right? It ain't no secret. We're gonna talk about it later, but you was incarcerated for some time, right? Yeah. But in that time, a billion rappers came out mm -hmm. that kind of got they, they, they chance because you wasn't in position no more. 
when you was in, did you feel any way watching the world move on, watching motherfuckers Hell blow nah. up and this and that? Did you feel a way or? Hell no. Nah. Okay. Hell no. Nah. I it, it, mean, it wasn't really no purpose of me, like, feeling no type of way because, like, I ain't even know none of these. Right, right, right. You feel me? So it's like, how the fuck am I going to feel some type of way about people I don't know? Right. Like, it's going to be younger niggas that's coming in when I'm locked up and they're going to be like, all right, boom, this the next nigga that's popping or he doing this, who doing that. But I ain't paying attention. I'm jailing. Yeah. I'm not worried about no rap none of that shit. shit. Yeah, but I ain't worried about that shit. So it's like, I didn't know nothing about them, but when I came home, I was in the halfway house. All the new niggas that was coming up, they all paid homage. Yeah. All gave me my love. Like, no matter which little borough you was from, yeah. which wards you was from, it didn't matter. They gave me all my shit. So it's like, fuck am I hate them for? I don't really give a fuck. Before we even go to that part, I want to back up real quick, pause. I want to talk about, right, it's well documented. You from the suiting side, right? Yeah, yeah. But when you was coming out in the rap shit, it wasn't a whole bunch of niggas who even would open their mouth to say they from PG or they with PG or they... Right, everybody. Right. It was a few, it was a few good men right. who was saying that. But I I grew up in both I, DC and Maryland, right? So I grad I was in Suitland and all that shit. So I seen all that shit. I was exposed to the gas stations, the hilltops, and the homers and all of that right. that I never knew before when I was in DCPS, right? Right. But with the rap shit, nobody nigga would ever come out and say. Nigga, I'm from Suitland, Oxen Hill, Landover, this I mean, or that. It like, it's not even only like that in the music. Not to cut you off. Nah, nah, go ahead. Come on, it's talk to me. It's not even only like that in the music. It's like, it was like that in the system too, though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody was on no Merlin time. Like, you going, you, like, I ain't going to say that for the state. State a little different. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, the the way that shit working there, you could be fucking with a Baltimore nigga and y'all be like, yeah, all right, yeah, locked in. But. In certain places you go out the feds, it's like you gotta be on a certain homie time. Like, yeah. So they they gonna ask you, is you on Maryland time, which would be Baltimore time? Okay. Or is you on DC homie time, which would be DC PG. Right. You feel me? But it's the borderline. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like you you gonna say you on DC time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they knew I was from Maryland. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I a, anybody that's in the feds probably gonna tell you I'm probably their fir- favorite Maryland nigga. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let you know I'm from Maryland. I ain't no DC shit, but I love them boys though. Yeah, feel me? yeah, hell yeah. How, how did your shit break? Okay, cool. The DMV scene taking off with the music, 2010, 2011, all that type of shit, right? 2008, really. How did you? How did you? Was you always rapping? Did you? Did you? Did, did somebody you know put you in a position to say, okay, this is what we gonna do? Uh, nah, nah. Like I, it's like I put myself in a position. Okay. Me. It's like the girl I had at the time gave me a heartbreak. Yeah. And that gave me the the mm, this yeah, in the book. Little motivation. You feel me? Then I had to go on a run and once I got on the run, that gave me the extra boost. Yeah. It's like I right, boom, they already fucking with this this shit I'm just writing just yeah. cuz. But if I keep doing this shit, they 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 fucking with it. You, you was feel? recording on the run? Hell yeah, okay. I did my I did my first mixtape on the run, the whole joint. How did you get the bug? Okay, you might. Have, I asked you what, what you were going to run for. I was on the run. For, I was on the run for armed robbery. Jack. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so, everything done. So I ain't, yeah, I ain't yeah, yeah. What up? So you do. So you get you get charged with the armed robbery, right? Get up out of there. You start recording like shit. You got the motivation. Nah, it wasn't really like that. It okay. was like basically, I right, boom. The girl broke my heart. Once she broke my heart. It made me make like a diss song to her, to her. nigga that she broke <laughs> yeah. my heart with. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then not too long after that, that's when um the county that I was dealing with that had um placed a warrant out for me and shit like okay. that. They did some stupid ass shit. You feel me? They sent the um a letter to my house basically saying like Booba Bip is one of four serious charge. You need to get a lawyer for this and the third. They gave me the extra boost to get the fuck on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If they would never sent that, I would never knew. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wouldn't have had to break that shit down to my mama. My mama would never knew. You know what I'm saying? She knew once she got the letter. You feel me? And she was with that shit. Get up out of here. I'm, I ain't going to. Hell nah. Fuck okay, her. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? My mama ain't no street lady. Yeah. You feel me? But she, her, her son lady. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So. That's real. It was like. Nah, she not with me. Get the fuck, but she not trying to see her yeah, son in jail either. Yeah, so hell yeah, if you can get the fuck, get the yeah, fuck get on. The fuck on yeah. I'd rather see you out here on the run than see you behind the wall. Right. You feel me? Right. So it just basically was like that. You know what I'm saying? Before I got locked up, like that's where I really got the buzz from. It was like, I right, boom, he's rapping about because like 
even after the um the joint I made the diss song against the girl, mm -hmm. before I came out with a mixtape, I was doing covers on other people's shit, other shit. and saying gangster shit on like shit that you're not supposed to say yeah. gangster shit on. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. And it's like the stuff that I'm talking about, I'm really doing it, so it's like the people is backing it. You know what I'm saying? Because like they can vouch. They can vouch. You feel me? So like now it's like making me a rapper. So once I came, when I'm like I'm about to come out with a mixtape. It was up, like, what the fuck? Like, you got a nigga that's out here really saying what he doing, woo woo, like, yeah. why not support that yeah. shit? And I'm a cool nigga, like, I'm a, just a regular dude, you feel me, so. I about to say, you put your, you, you, you put your personality in the music too, right? Like, that song that just went viral, um, with you and, you and Cuz, talking about, like, I went to this school, I'm, I'm, I'm lying about everything in my raps, the capture. Uh, 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 Monster, that's yeah. a good dude. Was, How, the look, bird. the song went, I'm talking about viral, niggas, millions, right? Yeah, for sure. Because niggas couldn't really make out if y'all niggas was saying, if y'all was just being funny, yeah. or if y'all was, some people I seen say, oh, look, these niggas are admitting they lying. I'm like, that's not what they doing, but. I mean, bro, like shit like that, that shit be for the culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, at some point in time, you gotta understand, you get old. And you gotta understand, you gotta learn from your mistakes, and other people who didn't go through what you went through, they gotta learn, they gotta learn from yeah. yours. Yeah. So it's like, I bet, when he came up with the idea of him just basically bluffing on the yeah. track and letting you know I'm bluffing, Bluff, yeah. how can I not get behind that? I got locked up and went to the feds for keeping that shit yeah, so yeah, too real. What I'm yeah, doing. too real. How can I not get with that? You feel me? You keeping yourself out of jail. I gotta back that play. You just talked about getting older. Let me ask you a real question, yeah? Because okay. a, lot of, a lot of niggas, okay, the rap shit changing. We see the drill shit everywhere. New York, this place, that place, right? Do you think the drill, the drill rappers or the drill music is responsible for what we seeing in all these big cities? Murder after murder, shit going up, going crazy. Young niggas is behind this shit a lot of it. Everywhere you look, this ain't just DC. And everywhere you look, it's a drill scene right there that's pushing that shit. But this art too. So we not gonna blame the music, but a lot of people trying to blame the music. Which you do you agree? Cause look, at, I'm at, you see, Young Thug just they in trial. They bringing up the lyrics. No. Nah. Do you think it's the music fault, or it's just our imitating life? I mean, it's all in um, whatever perspective you put it in front of. Okay. That's the only way I could really say it. Like you, hypothetically, yeah. you might could think that that the rap says was making everybody do everything that they do. And me personally, I could think it's the irresponsibility of the parents that's not getting on their kids' ass. Right, 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 right. Or the next person could think like, I don't even give a fuck. Mm -hmm. you feel me? Yeah. So it could go any way. It just depends on who you put it in front of. So I can't really, I don't like to be the nigga who hit the hammer. Yeah, I ain't the judge. judge, yeah, I don't, judge. I don't know. I don't yeah. know everything and I don't try to make myself do it. I just live within myself. I know what's up with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know what the fuck I want for my kid or I know what I want for the people that be around me yeah. because I got you around me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's about it. I don't really deal with the what ifs or, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I don't. I can't give you a, a solid answer because I don't even fucking know. Yeah. Do the other artists, like the artists that come up now, do any of them ever ask you for like advice on shit? Or ask you, like, you know, your opinion or your perspective on shit? I mean, they have. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But now, like, I'm in a space to where I don't even really try to talk to people. Mm -hmm. I ain't really on that. Like, I'm just... Why not? Um, I mean, like, shit, it's like life be better when you reclusive in yourself. Like, when you just in your own body, bro, you in your own mind, you in your own space. Yeah. Um, for the people who like, you know what I'm saying, own a house or apartment, you in your own yeah. stuff, yeah. you in your own everything, you know what I'm saying, it's like, it feel better, and you can't blame nobody for any mishap that go on, because yeah. you with yourself, Less so anything that you yeah. fuck up, yeah. you did that, and you got to blame yourself and take the responsibility, you feel yeah. me? Yeah, it's definitely less disappointments when you, you know, when you young, I think niggas feel like if you by yourself, that means something wrong with you, but really... If you can be by yourself, if you can manage to be by yourself and with your own thoughts, that's a stronger nigga in the, in, in the end. Like, you can be a stronger listen, man if you can do that. Man, listen, I agree with you 100%. I'm going to yeah. tell you like this. I wish the, the man that I am now could have been that little boy I was then. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, because... Me always being a little ass guy, yeah. I always had a heart, you feel me? Yeah. That was that little man complex, you yeah. feel me? But even beyond a little man complex, I still had heart on my own. 
but my heart is definitely going to be way bigger if I got the guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I'm going to keep it on. Sure not. Everybody, you know I'm everybody. I'm going I'm to I'm stand on my 10. Yeah. But I'm going to feel better with my yeah, 30. For sure. My you got 40. an army with you. You feel me? I'm going to feel better. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. going to make my make my boobop bips yeah, a little bit sure, a little stronger. Bit, yeah. Hell yeah. Because now, you know what I'm saying? I'm, it, it, it's me and, but now that I'm looking at it now, it's like, I done stood on 10 so much by myself in the late that, that extra shit, bro, like, them niggas don't really mean nothing, bro. Like, yeah. they don't mean shit no more. You feel me? Like, I got a, I got a handful, maybe a, a little bit less than a handful of niggas that I still fuck with and I can still call them, like, my genuine friend. You from feel? back then? From, from whenever? Oh, fuck no. Hell no. Mm. From back then? Shit, that number even smaller, huh? Man, back then, man. Hey, listen. The, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna give a good shout out to my good man, man. Listen, it's my cousin. Yeah. My man YC. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Savage life YC. Real great, solid dude. You know what I'm saying? Not even on no crazy shit, bro. That's one of the love of my life. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I yeah. fuck with that nigga yeah. to the fullest extent. Never changed on me. Never did nothing faulty to me. We argue, we beef, we might fight each other. Yeah. But I never, ever had an ill intent about that nigga. And that's the only living friend I got to this day that I'd have been dealing with since Pampers. Only one. Only one. You talk about if you could tell yourself something, like if you could change something. What, what was it about your, if it was something about your childhood? I know you said you had the little man complex a little bit. Yeah. Did that make you feel like you had something to prove? Like, what was it about growing up the I mean, way you, you did? You always got something to prove. Yeah. You yeah. always got something to prove. Yeah. It don't matter where you go. You know what I'm saying? It could be in a playpen or it could be in a big boy cell. That's it. You got to prove something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. you, could, you could be anything you want on the streets or... You could say whatever you want, excuse me. You could say, I'm saying this shit like a person. No, it's okay. <laughs> Man got respect. You can say, excuse me. My bad, chance. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like that shit could like really be happening anywhere, any time frame. So it's like, I don't know, bro. Life is, life, life is really tricky for real. You good, my boy? <laughs> Shake back. <laughs> this that, this <laughs> Shake is that back. floating funnel. <laughs> Shake back. Hey, let me ask, okay, look, real quick. Talk to him. I mean, it ain't got to be real quick. I, I like where the conversation going, right? You you referenced it a few times. Uh, you you doing your music. You on the run. Mm -hmm. Tell me about when you finally was incarcerated. How long you end up doing? Uh, The first time, I think I did like a year and a half. Um... After that, I did about like damn the same, and then my last bill on the feds, I did three years. Three years. Mm -hmm. So, so basically, you talking about five years all together, right? In that little something, yeah, something like that, something. five to six years. Yeah, something. I really don't like to dwell on time. Okay. Was it fucked up in that whole situation? I mean, I had fucked up moments. Like, yeah. who don't? You know what I'm saying? I had fucked up moments. I had some, I had times where though I lost myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. 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 Hell yeah. At times where I started losing hair. I had times I started smoking K2 heavy. Yeah. I had times that I wouldn't work out, wouldn't get out of bed. I had times where, though, I'm the flyest motherfucker on the compound. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I go, you got to think that's, that's, and I ain't talking about the state shit for, I'm talking about the feds. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's years of going through stuff. Like, if, think about all the time that when you on the street and all the stuff that you go through. In a year. In a year. That's you know what I'm saying? I didn't need three years of that. So I'm going through stages of life in there, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. I done been to the worst of the worst, and I've been to the best of my best. You yeah. feel me? So it's like, that's why I'm not really judgmental like that. You yeah. feel me? Because I understand. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying, once I got back on the street and shit like that, like I told myself I'd never get high again off no shit I was getting high in the bed. Yeah. And I stood on that. You yeah. feel me? Went through withdrawals and everything, like a nigga on the street going through a yeah. withdrawal with perk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But a, a lot of people ain't going to tell you. A lot of people ain't going to keep it a hundred and nah, tell you the truth. Real. But I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't that's give real. a fuck. Nigga going to say whatever the fuck they want to say. But, you know, that's why I fuck with your music. I, look, but past the music, I think, with, with, with people really drawn to about you, is that you don't give a fuck about saying that? Nigga could look at you and see that. Okay, nah, people don't like me. 
People don't like me, man. I've been realizing it. Yeah, I've been realizing it lately. People like, don't I, like I got, yeah, hell yeah, I got help to some shit called Reddit. Okay. Yeah, they be hating on me on that. They hate on anything, though, nigga. Nah, though, but they be talking Jesus shit. Jesus come back, they're going to talk shit like, about God, God damn, some this ain't even me y'all talking about. Yeah, nah, Reddit do that. Yeah, Reddit like, do that. That's man. Hey, that's why I'm glad I don't, be, I don't even get in that internet shit, man. But when you came home, mm. that's all niggas was talking about. Flock home, flock home, right? When you came home, you was the biggest shit pause on the internet, right? Right? Eh. The game had changed. Now the streaming is number one, right? Everything is on YouTube, social media. Yeah, I ain't know how to work that shit. Yeah, what was that adjustment like when you came home? I mean, I ain't know how to do none of that shit. I, I won, like, a uh, conscious of my career. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you got to think about it. I'm locked up for three years, and I'm thinking... I'm already getting everything handed to me before I go to jail. Yeah. So once I get home, I'm a solid nigga. Ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm good. Everything gonna come down to me. I'ma had cubes. I'ma yeah. had, a, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I'ma have everything. Yeah. My mother wasn't nothing like that. I had to do everything from square one mm. all over again. Everything. And it was crazy because like when I first came, I was in a halfway house, bro. I got all for the million plus. I turned that shit down because it didn't fit for me. It didn't work for me. Label deal. Yeah, hell yeah, okay. hell yeah. On my mother, they was gonna give me 500, uh, 500 cash mm -hmm. in my hand. Mm -hmm. Take it home. Real life, drop it off at your mama's house and then go back to the halfway. They were gonna drop me back off of that. They was coming to pick me up from the halfway up. Is that because you want to stay independent or is that just because it wasn't for you? Mm -mm. It's just simply because it wasn't for me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I ain't really trying to get too much, too much in the detail yeah, with it about yeah. it for real, but it was like, um, my mama, that's like my right hand. You okay. Feel me? So, 10 times out of 10, I'm going with what she say. Yeah. And once she tell me anything that she think in her mind that makes sense to me, hell yeah, I'm going with that shit. And hell no, nah, she won't with that. So, I won't either. What you think about the deals and all that shit now? If the right deal come across your table, you fucking with it or you want to stay independent, keep your publishing and all of that? I mean, now, now that I look at it, now I got to look at it like a hustling mentality. Yeah, business. You know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, boom. Take it for a nigga who gonna front you 50 ditties. Yeah. You gonna take it. You know what I'm saying? No matter what position you in. Yeah. I mean, I ain't gonna say that. Cause I can't speak for everybody. That's gonna you put you in position, with, though. It's gonna put you in like position. Nigga, you 50 Zaz real yeah. quick, just on the strength. Yeah. Do what you do. Give me back. I'm gonna at you later. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what you could do with it in the yeah, street. You sure. know how you, what you could cat, what you could put in your kid sure. in. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with the rap shit. All right, nigga, man, I got, I got a 50K for you for. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I ain't bad. I know what I'm gonna do with this mm -hmm. 50k. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, flip it. I already know what I want, and I know the time frame that I want it in. So I ain't bad. I know what I'm gonna do, and then I know what I'm gonna give you back, and I know when I can say fuck you and duck it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like now I'm not really trying to get into that shit because you still gotta understand like. It depends if you a type of nigga that that care about owing a nigga, and, yeah. it, and you a nigga who don't care. Cause I care. I ain't trying to owe nobody. <laughs> You feel me? Do you, so like, yeah, do you I care about blowing up as a rap? Like, do you, like a lot of niggas, oh, I, I want to be the biggest rapper in D.C. I want to be the biggest rapper in... Do you nah. give a fuck about... Do Big Flock give a fuck about being a rap star? Nah. Fuck, no. I mean... Nah. Nah, <laughs> I, nah I don't. Yeah. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm being realistic Talk with you, I'm being... I, I gave you my word, I'm going to be honest nah, with anything fact. you ask me. That's a fact. Nah, hell nah, because I know I'm way more than a rapper. Yeah. And I told myself, like, maybe a couple months ago, I think I might have chose rap too early. You know what I'm saying? I do. Because I, I chose rap because of the circumstance I was in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I felt as though this was the quickest way for me to get some revenue yeah. before I date them police ever catch me. Yeah. But on my mother, I feel like I could have been whatever the fuck I wanted to be, especially with the shit that's going on right now. Yeah. What the fuck? I could have been a porn star, yeah, man. Yeah. And been a millionaire all yeah. porn. Yeah, OnlyFans. Man, straight up. Yeah, no question. Straight up. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I can't do that now because I already chose a career path. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, I'm not trying to, I'm not saying that OnlyFans will be beneath me, but for me, yeah. it will be beneath yeah, me. Sure. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't even that public. I'm not yeah. even that type of nigga. So I'm trying to be as private as possible. A bitch seeing my dick on camera yeah. and they can go floating around. Yeah. I ain't into that. Tiger shit. That's what's happening. Yeah, I ain't into yeah. that. Like, I ain't really into that, bro. Like, so it's like, but it's like, I could have chose any career path. I could have chose to be a model. That's what I really want to do for real. I want to be a model. Could have chose to uh, be a vet. That's whoa, what whoa, I whoa, 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 whoa. Don't play. 
Don't play. <laughs> don't play. And my mother, don't look at this outfit because listen, nah, I'm going to nah, say it on camera nice so y'all yeah. already get this shit understood. Listen, OT Brian called me today or hit me a text today on my mother. I didn't even know who the fuck he was because I got a new phone. I could buy, I, 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 I asked him, I said, damn, son, what the fuck going on? He said, man, woo, woo, woo. I said, God. Damn. I said, I'm glad you reminded me. Oh, my mother, I pulled this shit out the hat. Kill. I, I picked the wrong you hat know, out be, the hat. We be talking about this shit yeah. a month in advance. We did. But, hey, Slim, I don't keep up with days, No, no, that, that ain't nothing wrong with that my shit. Sometimes came we came out with a bust in my outfit. But I, I just bought some shit while I was in here. So don't play around. Hey, listen. Fuck, nigga. <laughs> but look, why don't you, look, you could do that shit. I'm not telling you you could do it like you don't think you could do it. Why don't you, are you, are you pursuing that too? Uh, I know you do like little, not not little, but I know you do like sponsorships and, or you link with different designers and shit like that, maybe locally or whatever. Do you yeah, think that's something like, you really want to fuck with? To be honest, if I'm being 100% honest, bro, like, I live a real person life. Yeah. Like, I just deal with reality. You know what I'm saying? I don't really fall into what's going on in this world, yeah. shit, you feel me? Like, I'm not really into that. So it's like, I pay bills, yeah. I pay other bills, I pay other people bills, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I like, I do regular shit, yeah. you feel me? Like, so like, and it's not, I, to me, I feel like there's nothing wrong with that because I always wanted to be a regular dude. Yeah. I never asked to be like a popular guy. Yeah. I never wanted like this super title. You know what I'm saying? I never wanted that for real, for real, bro. Like, I, like how I am now on Instagram, I don't post. I'm, I'm not really. Yeah, it, it fucks up my fan base. Fucked up what I got going on, but it brings me peace. Yeah. I'm not getting trolls DMing me about shit that I don't Stupid need to know shit, about. Yeah, yeah. They're not even worried about me. It's out of sight, out of mind. You feel me? I rather like I, 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 I worry about my peace more than I worry about anything else in the world. What bring you peace? Uh, you're running water. Yeah. Running water, bro. Like I could, my the reason why my rent is so high, bro. I pay like twenty seven <laughs> in rent, bro. For real? When my mother paid twenty seven in rent, bro, and it's I could be paying bill. that shit on some way better shit than what I got. I got some like that shit though, but I could be way, do some way better shit. Twenty seven, bro. That's my water bill, bro. Water bill, bro. I run the water all day, twenty five eight. Like, cause that's the only thing that's gonna keep me calm. Yeah. I just like to hear it. Yeah. Yeah, like, like this is one of my little things. Like I just like what, the it's like a PTSD on. situation. And, um, and that's real shit. Yeah, it is, but not with me. Okay. You know, I I've been doing that shit since a child. Okay. But like you gotta think like when I was growing up on the max and shit, like my water was free. Yeah. So I could run that water yeah. all day. Yeah. I could run that shit until like my mother ain't even gonna complain about it. I'm gonna sit my feet right in the tub. Yeah. She ain't gonna complain because it's shit free. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. love water, waterfalls, all that shit. Yeah, fuck yeah, all that shit free. But like I can't go on YouTube and play like water sounds and make me feel good. It don't make me feel the same. I gotta sit in that water. I had a little my YouTube, feet, yeah. I had and that's <laughs> in my drawers, shorts, and everything. Yeah. Sit with my feet in the, in the water. tub. What in the tub, just right on the corner of the tub. And that shit give me peace. Yeah. It give me everything I need. That yeah. little ass thing right there, yeah. give me everything I need. And it, now I start cooking. That's my shit though. I start cooking. That started to bring me peace too, I swear to God. The water and the, I, both of them for me too, because it connect me back to like, when I used to cook with my great grandmother and shit before she died, when she was old as shit. My mother ain't cook none of that shit, but that was the shit that connect me right back there, cooking with her. And the water shit, I don't know why. I think I, I think that's Miami though. I, I just like water. Yeah, when I went I to Puerto Rico, water, I went down. I, I don't even know how to swim. So I went down the waterfall and all. Fuck no. I teach you how to that swim. That wasn't part of my childhood. Bro, I'm telling you. I teach you how to swim. Bro. How you learn like, how to swim? Man, Nick, niggas kept throwing me in the water. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bar like that's real, shit. bro. I swear to God, they kept throwing me in the water, bro. That's how I learned how to swim. I swear to God. You my was, man, Sharad, man, shout out Rob, man. You were saying something about culture earlier, right? You said, you, you, you know, you did it for the culture, right? Mm -hmm. What you think about it? Is, is these, do, do we have a culture right now? Like, or are we emulating everybody else's culture right now? Who is we? DMV. Do DMV have a culture right now? I don't speak for that. Okay. Yeah, I'm, that's not, I'm not the speaker box. But that. when you say you, you, you do it for the culture, what culture are you talking about then? Me and what I represent. Okay. That's it. Okay. So anybody who living like me or feel the same type of way, type of way as me, been through my same type of struggles, people who ain't been heard, people yeah. who ain't been talked to, who ain't been mentored, who ain't been, that's who I speak for. That's my culture. 
Yeah. It's not really so much. And you could be from D.C., Maryland, or Virginia. You could be from any one of them joints to feel me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not on no <coughs> DMV sound. I'm not on none of that shit. Like, I'm not on none of that at all. Yeah. I mean, I ain't on that. How did you come up with your own sound? I know a lot of people... They shit don't even sound like yours, but you know they now it's just kind of evolved and took a like a whole mind of its own, right? But how did you come up with your sound originally? Uh, originally, if I'm yeah. keeping a hundred, I didn't get my sound for myself. Yeah. Originally, um, I was locked up in a Hampton jail when I um like right after the Illuminati dropped, and all I kept hearing on the train with the Migos. Mm -hmm. And they were doing a punch and flow, yeah. they going real fast. And I just put what I think was sounding sweet mm -hmm. and mixing it with that punch and, and you know what I'm saying? Doing all that shit. I got that shit from the Migos, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I said, that's an old ass interview. Like I ain't just make that on my own. I just took something that I heard that I knew that was like that and that could be a global sound. Yeah. And just put me on that joint and remixed it and made it mine. You know what I'm mm -hmm. You kind of, you kind of. Your flow has evolved though since then. Yeah, fuck it. Now I be telling stories and that. Yeah, yeah, I was saying that shit evolved right. since then. Yeah, it's shit right now that I got in the boat that you ain't even heard, John. I'm gonna let you hear it as soon as it ain't over. Say no My more. mother, you ain't even gonna think it's me. You got, it's you crazy. got, you got, okay, I hear a lot of comparisons with different national artists, right? Uh, Who, me? You heard yeah, comparison with people, me? I yeah. ain't never heard a comparison with a national artist. Pers like King Von. Personality wise, like these different artists, right, in different regions. Uh, not that your sound sound like them, but if you was, like you said, it's not about a local thing. Right. As an artist, you your numbers. I mean, I like him on swag. I mean, he cool. I mean, I ain't really get the top into the yeah, whole yeah, yeah. Bond thing. The music, it, but you, you know seen the, you seen the. Yeah, I feel, yeah. Like, I feel like everybody respect him. Yeah. I like the respect level yeah. he got. Yeah. Do you feel like if it ain't about the local shit? You know your music and your your what you your presentation. You feel like it's comparable with the national artists on that level. To keep it a hundred, bro. Like I smoke anybody under the table. Yeah. Anybody. Yeah. Anybody. You talking about the, the the quote unquote big artists? Anybody. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if you're a small artist that got all the talent in the world and niggas yeah. ain't see you yet. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about the niggas who got all the the, the less talent in the world, but everybody saying I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'm smoking any of you niggas under the table. I, I, it be getting me gut for real for real when a nigga tell me I fell off. Cause it be like, I just don't drop no music for real for real. Niggas saying Big Flock fell off. Yeah, hell yeah, niggas tell me that. Niggas say that shit all the time to keep it a hundred. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Like I'm, not, like, I'm not a nigga who don't face what the fuck is right in front of your face. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, nigga done said it. They ain't tell me to my face. Nah, but it's deal. Yeah, 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 I done seen it yeah, though. Yeah, 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 nigga done said that, but what the fuck? Bitch, I think I suck my dick. You hear me? That's how I'm carried. Like, suck my dick. I don't give a fuck yeah. what the nigga talk about. Suck shit my dick. Fake yeah. pages and all of that. Man, hell yeah. The shit that you ain't gonna tell me to my <laughs> face, I'm gonna tell you to. I'm gonna tell you, suck my dick. Yeah, like, yeah, fuck yeah, you, yeah. Fuck the ducky, nigga. What you gonna do? But you think that shit as an artist do that fuck with you? The what? comments? Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But that's why I stopped getting on the internet. Just for that, like, I be tormenting myself reading what everybody yeah, say. And, like, I'm looking at them knowing they a bot or knowing they, like, a fake page. Yeah. They go to their page, they got one. Can't even one address them. it. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. But it still be getting me good. Yeah. Because I know that, that that person who made that fake page, that nigga could be my man. Real that, real that though. Keep that shit that. happen all the time though. That could be your man. That shit happen all the time. Real yeah. that, that could be your right hand seen, man that yeah. you was just smoking with just yeah. now. That could yeah. be him that made that fake page and be like, man, that nigga slumming. That the worst thing in the world. That's your man. That's your man. You don't even know though. You feel me? So but it's you, like. But you know what? Sometimes you you kind of. Sometimes you kind of know like Spidey senses. Like you kind of. Sometimes a nigga energy. Sometimes you know, but do you got to show your motherfucker a hand when uh, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, no. You ain't got to show sure. your hand. You just got to know, I bet. I know that's bro. Sometimes the best way to see you somebody, know what, what they say, sometimes the best way to see somebody is pretend you ain't looking. Man, just act like you don't see nothing. Yeah, nothing at all. You don't see nothing Nigga gonna give you a whole show, Paul. Hell yeah. yeah. You already know who it is. Yeah. Go ahead and let him just keep doing him. It don't matter. Look, every um, week we do a part of the show, right? Well, not every week, but... When we smoking good, we having a good conversation, we wrap the show up with a thing called the roll up, right? People send in questions, they got different questions. Listen, 
I don't know what the, I, I, I ain't even read the questions yet, so. Go ahead, ask him. I don't you got to get them out the way. Go ahead. And, um, <laughs> okay, here we go. First question. What happened to Thrax? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Laugh, say a lot. What happened to Thrax? Yeah. Um, to be honest, mm, let me think. If I don't want to say that, I don't want to discredit no boy. What happened to Thrax? I mean, to be honest, I think like they made Thrax without me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Thrax was already us, but as far as like the rap group part, they made that without me. And once I came home and put them in predicaments that they shouldn't have been in, mm -hmm. cause I had my own shit going on, I think that was a major effect for real, for real. You felt the way when you came home and Thrax was doing what they was doing? Nah, fuck okay. no, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. I was so proud. When my mother, I cried tears of joy. I was proud as fuck. Yeah. Hell yeah, they did everything. And they did it all without me. Made hit songs without me. Yeah. And they wasn't rapping before me. Yeah. So hell, I was proud as it's fuck. Right. Hell yeah. But it was just like, I was putting them in situations to where though like, they beefing with niggas and they're not supposed to be beefing because they're not beefing dudes. You feel me? I'm putting, I'm putting, not saying they civilians, but they is saying. though in a way they civilians for real you know what i'm saying they ain't like high school beefs ain't shit when you got hood beefs or you got group beefs when you ain't groups at warfare. the time yeah that shit different so it's like i play my part in that part you know yeah. what i'm saying i feel like i'm cool with why they distance themselves away from me because i'm still beefing yeah you feel me so yeah. it's like them niggas got jobs now or it's a conflict of interest for them now yeah, like it's just even they got jobs now, bro. They just not, not what they used to be, type shit. People you know change. what I'm saying? People so it's change. like, I apologize. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? If I fucked any of y'all life up, yeah. That's some real shit. Cause like you said, we gotta keep moving, gotta evolve, keep that shit going. I um. I asked you this earlier about having any true friends left. Do you have any friends left? So you were already talking about that. But what I do want to know, because this is a crazy question. They say, did Shy Glizzy really diss you on your own song? And if so, did y'all have a conversation about it? Uh, did he diss me on my own song? That I don't know. You okay. know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody that was there said that he did. Mm-hmm. But me personally, do I know? I don't. You know what I'm saying? Right. And did we have a conversation about it? Hell nah. You know what I'm saying? Hell no. So it's like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I, and I'm not even going to be a nigga who make it seem like he didn't. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, shit, if you're going to diss me, you got to diss me right there. Like, shit, we on the same song. Mm -hmm. Diss me right there while I'm right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Known. Yeah, let me know Kendrick, right there. Kendrick could let you know. Man, when Kendrick. I made the song, he was uh, the the girl was there. Yeah, you know what I'm okay. saying? So, yeah, the girl was there. <laughs> Fuck yeah, the girl was right there. Yeah. So it's like hell yeah. So it's like, mm -hmm. Man, I ain't gonna say that he didn't diss me though, cause I don't. But I don't yeah, know. You can't speak for it. Yeah, I ain't, I can't speak for yeah, that. I don't really yeah. give a fuck though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping on no bit. Yeah. You like the song? Nice song. <laughs> <laughs> nice song. <laughs> I'm, <here for. laughs> I'm telling you, nice song. <laughs> what you yeah. feel about uh, your man IDK, right? So I've, I've been asking, I asked a few other artists, right? You know, and niggas get real political when it, they see this shit, they know it's going to get some views. So, oh shit, watch what I say on here, right? What you about to ask me about them, though? I'm about to ask, okay, cool. We saw what, the whole situation when he was saying something about DMV rappers, right? What did he say technically? I can't remember. I ain't, I can't. I ain't got the quote right Give here. Give me like a summarization. Everybody go to jail or die. And, nobody, it, nobody, nobody. There is no DMV rap scene. Give me like a small example, cause I just heard three people at one time. Give me he like a small was, He pretty much was saying there is really no DMV rap scene. All the DMV rappers that blow up go to jail or, or die or some shit like that. Then. You know, he had the little back and forth with Nucci, who was a DMV rapper. Mm -hmm. And he kind of made a song where he was naming all the DMV rappers that this and that, but he was showing some people love too. 
Right. Then he come out with this new fitted hat campaign. Right. I'm that's on the campaign. A, no question. We seen you. Right. So that's why I'm asking you this. Some people feel like, damn, is he just using this as an olive branch? You know, a lot of people said that about Wale. Anytime Wale needed a hit, he'd put a go-go joint on there and he'd come back home. All right? Is IDK using this fitted hat campaign as an olive branch? Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. I yeah. hear what you're saying. Let me ask you something, though. Do you feel like this? Is, this? is this coming from a question from you? It came from one of these Jones. All right. Uh, but I answer your question. Do you feel like that? No. I'm going to tell you bet. why I don't. All right. I seen IDK at this point, dude. I don't know shit about it. I'm gonna be a thousand percent real. Okay. I don't know. I don't know one song from him. Okay. Right? Never, never really had the chance to lock in with him. He could be better than Tupac, Jay Z, and Biggie put together. I wouldn't know, right? So this ain't no nothing about that. But I have seen him do things. Is it hand sanitizer? Yeah, I think so. Can you get one for me? I have seen him do things for this area. Ain't nobody forced him to do it. Ain't nobody made him do it, right? Now, if this is the olive branch, this ain't the first one. He done did a whole bunch of shit over and over and over. So for me, I don't have to know his music at all. I can respect what he done because it's a lot of niggas who so-called real niggas and so-called this or that who haven't done the same he's done. So you got to respect it. And he reaching out to the ones who can have that influence. He might say, Floyd never heard my music. But Floyd might have heard KP. Floyd might have heard Flock. Floyd might have heard put me, a wet put paper me. towel or something. Give me some, yeah, about to say, give me a wet paper towel with some soap on it, please. Nigga might say, I might not got Floyd ear, but Flock might got his ear. Right? So he reached out to a Flock and said, come on with me, let's do this. I respect that. All right. Um, I like to not talk about my... um private conversation in public okay but i feel like this situation right here not really one of them situations where it's though i can't speak about it okay. but if it do offend anybody idk i apologize if you didn't want me to speak about it but i feel like there's something small like an a ball you feel me mm. now once he made the song um when he putting all them niggas uh names in the song um, he said two rappers' name. I ain't gonna speak of their name, but he said two rappers' name that's beefing with each other. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, come on, man, God, I ain't moving in slow motion, ain't you, boy? <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> um, oh, uh, uh, but basically, you know what I'm saying? Like he said a name, yeah. but like he didn't know no better. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And you can't fault somebody what they don't know. You know what I'm saying? You, as a Muslim man, you know what I'm saying? You ain't a son of man, but right. you a Muslim man nevertheless. No question. Allah cannot fault you, for, uh, fault you for what you don't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? He right. didn't know no better. So I, you know what I'm saying, personally reached out to him and talked to him and let him know, like, this is what's going on. He like, man, I didn't know, but now I do know. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's like me and him had a good little 30-minute conversation about, like, you know what I'm saying, the politics and what's going on and not really so much who you should deal with because i'm not going to tell you who you should yeah. deal with that's not my that's not my agenda right but who is going to be a good look for the play that you're trying to yeah. trying to play yeah you know what i'm saying so it's like all the names that he said in, in the james you know what i'm saying like he said a rock of names you feel me but yeah, yeah. it's like at you the did. end of the day like he didn't know no better. You know what I'm saying? And me personally, I'm not going to fault him with the fuck he didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? And he and he mean well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It would it'd be different like if he was on some clout check because he not, though. Yeah. He he got more than what a lot of niggas got. Like, just how you say you don't know his music. Right. He got more than what the fuck a nigga listening to me got. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got to give... Uh, certain uh, flowers to certain accolades. You yeah, feel me? He's sure. doing he's doing it for a good cause. He just he just not in the trenches for him to know what's really going on. Yeah, so it's That's like it's and it's not it's not our job to pull him more in the trenches yeah. to learn it. Yeah. Just go ahead and just tell him when he's wrong and yeah. tell him in private and just let him move yeah. on from that. You feel me? And let him fix the mistake. If fix it, the mistake. Yeah. All you, it, it, it's nothing with a simple apology. I didn't know. And if you didn't know, how can a nigga fault you? If he still beef him about that. Fuck him, man. Just move on. Shout out to IDK, Straight up. Man. Shout out to IDK, bro. Good dude. 
your career taking a turn, even with the music, things you're doing, like connecting with somebody like IDK, offering that mentorship, that guidance. Where do you see, where do you see it going from here? Like, where do you see, cause like, on one hand you say, I don't care about being no rap star. But then the next hand you say, I fuck any nigga up in this shit, right? right. And you know it, right? right. I know, you, I know you say you like being a regular nigga, but come on, nigga. Tiden Everybody is, ain't built. Bro, time is silent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like this. This is the simplest way I could put it that's in a real part of my life. Niggas get cars and shit like 15, yeah. 14, when they first get into high school, shit like that. I got my first car, bro. I think I was just turning 30. I swear to God. First car to turning 30. You wanna know why? I can't drive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't drive. You know what I'm saying? And I, I listen, and, and this is the crazy part. I bought my first car at 30, and I had three cars within two months. Yeah. The third car I had was a Tesla, bro, and I crashed it, bro, and and really was at a at, at a scummy, at a dick. It's not a person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of the third time. <laughs> But a real lie, you know what I'm saying? Like, my shit was through for real, for yeah. real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I had to realize in myself, like, certain people got certain talents with certain things. And my not talent is I can't drive. Yeah. So don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it. You feel me? Like, you can't, don't do nothing you're going to keep being bad at. Yeah, you that. feel me? Like, I ain't on that. So it's like, people say whatever they say, or, you know what I'm saying? People going to think whatever they think, bro. But I, I just, Try my best to stay alive, my nigga. You know yeah. what I'm mean? That's what I try my best to do. So it's like, I don't really give a fuck. But look, like you say, fuck. the music. Hmm? Like you say, the, Allah bless you with the music. Yeah. Hey, yeah. use that shit to open all these other doors. I know you, I'm a regular now. I just want a regular life. I feel you. Use what God gave. I don't think you can feel me until like you really feel the shoes. I get you. For real. I like I don't you. think you will really feel it, bro. Like... You don't understand, like, my daughter is the sweetest person ever. Like, yeah. she's so, like, into herself. She's not into nobody. She she got her little selective friend, but she's not really into nothing. Yeah. But how do you think it feel to her when, like, a grown-ass adult is walking up to her and saying, like, oh, my God, you big flock daughter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit, that shit is not like it's not cool. Cause my daughter live a regular life. Like she not regular. Like she she's advanced at everything, but she's not living like a celebrity. She's not getting homeschooled. Yeah. She's not getting put up in a mansion. None of that. She's going to an advanced school for her advanced self. But she's living a regular girl. I don't want her in no type of lifestyle. I'm in stri you. street shit or rap shit. Yeah, I get. I want you. her to keep being her little quirky self yeah you feel me like that's what she is a little quirky little person like she like anime she like little dorky shit that yeah. i'm not really into but i love her for her because she her own person you know what i'm saying but it it, it gets a, a a little girl like her out of body that's so anti-social and don't fuck with person for a person to come over like oh my god let me take a picture you big flock dog yeah what the fuck, nigga? I ain't even like a uh what the fuck? who you got like a lord dirt little baby yeah. no i ain't none of them niggas. You know what I'm saying? So my daughter don't deserve none of that shit. Yeah. Fuck. Nah, but Stay the fuck away from that girl. When you put it like that, that make, that make perfect sense. You know what I'm saying? That make perfect sense because it ain't just about you. Yeah, hell. It never been about me, though. You yeah. got to understand this, though. It never been about me. Yeah. The talent that I learned that I had that I didn't even know that I even had, I learned that shit over circumstances. Yeah. Strictly circumstances. Yeah. Nothing else though. Yeah. It was something that was my dream. I want my dream, nigga. You know what my dream was? To be a veterinarian. I wanted to help animals yeah. and shit. Oh my mother. Yeah. Gangsta ass yeah. flock. Yeah. I wanted to help animals and shit. What bro. kind of animals? Dogs and shit? It, it didn't anything. matter. It, it's yeah, anything used, anything used, except insects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like snakes and lizards and everything. Yeah, all that shit. My mother. But it's like that wasn't my calling. Yeah. You feel me? Like that's what I wanted to do, but Shit, God give you a path, whatever God you go with. You feel me? They give you a path, the right way that they put for you or the path that you could go and go get your demise. Yeah. I chose my demise instead of what he paid what he paid for me. Not knowing what was really paid for me because I'm so stuck in the demise. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up. <clears throat> this shit ain't over yet, Flop. Hey, you got some um, new music on the way? 
New uh, merch, new new uh, somewhere they could come spend some money with you. Yeah, hell yeah, man. You can always spend money with me. It don't matter what you want in the world. Just call me. I got you. Call me. Call me motherfucker 24 hours ahead. Yeah, yeah, Whatever motherfucker. you need, I got you. Yeah, me. But nah, like, uh, I'm working on Trail Illuminati too. You know what I'm saying? Trail Illuminati, my first tape that I came out with. Yeah. So I'm really trying to rebrand myself. Got the haircut. Like, just yeah. iterate that whole bunch of rebranding. Like, just going back to my normal self, not what the fuck everybody out there is expecting me to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be what the fuck I feel respectfully in my own body. Yeah. Because niggas don't be respecting themselves. They do shit to disrespect themselves for whatever. Just for what everybody want to see. And yeah. I ain't about to do that. I can't pay it. You feel me? That's probably why my career so sucks. Because I just ain't going to bend. I yeah. can't bend. Yeah. Shit weird. Can't bend, bro. But enough of that shit, though. Keep doing what you're doing, though. Yeah. Obviously, you're doing something right. Got you here. Hey, look, high thoughts. First, I appreciate you all. Uh, listen, a lot of motherfuckers looking up to you. You know that. But, you know, I'm thinking about when you talking, I'm just thinking about uh, this Andre 3000 interview I just seen. This nigga rich as shit, one of the greatest rap groups, greatest rapper. Right? This nigga got a flute. He telling the lady from CNN, whatever it was, she, he like, I don't care about being famous. I want to sit out here in Nebraska and, and play, play my, my fucking flute. flute. And play my flute. She like, but don't you want to come back and one solo album? You could be. He you like, know what I, I want to do? Say my bro, what I tell you, <laughs> OT Brian? If you think I'm lying, I'm dying. I'm like, I'm about to say, damn. Why the fuck you tell me to come here at nine o'clock? I'm here prompt this motherfucker. Yeah. You hear me? I said, man, I would have still been in the house playing Fortnite. Yeah. I'm playing Fortnite in the house, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm like, like, bro, like. I ain't trying to live uh, so regular to where it's though like I'm a PD, I'm a peon. Yeah, 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 I get what you I'm trying to live to where it's though like I'm successful. I can help my family yeah. and make sure everything is good. But I can still lay back in my Maybach and cool it. Yeah. I can chill. I can do what I want to do. Not on nobody's terms. I can do exactly what I want to do. Yeah. And that's why my career is just not like... Mike. That's why my career just really ain't what the fuck it's really supposed to be. Yeah. Because in reality, bro, I deal with reality stuff. I don't deal with fake stuff. Yeah. I don't deal with fake problems, no fake nothing. I deal with real problems, bro. I got a real baby mama I ain't with. Yeah. I got a real mama that needs everything because that's my mama, nigga. Close. Like, you hear me? I got a real daughter that needs the world. I got real men that need money because they is locked up. Yeah. I got a real shit going on. Yeah. Everything is a bill. Yeah. Everything. So walking out the house is a bill. So me just staying in the house and playing Fortnite, I ain't building shit. Yeah. I cook my own food now and everything. Like I yeah. stay in the house. You know, I don't even use Uber Eats or DoorDash yeah. or nothing. Yeah. Tell them suck my dick. Yeah. Fuck yeah. you, I'm cooking now. <laughs> Shit, I was older. I was on burrito yeah. tacos. I'm making burrito yeah. tacos. Yeah. Suck yeah. my yeah. dick. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Now look, that's that's my high thoughts. Uh, be you. I can sit here all day telling him, oh man, you gotta be. I don't give a, if he happy, I'm happy for him. Yeah. Listen, that's how I gotta be. Don't chase what everybody else say success is. You define that shit yourself. You can have a hundred thousand likes and views and all of that shit be depressing shit. I'm telling you. You could be a nigga who get 15 likes and be like, damn, I finally made the 15 likes. I'm gonna tell you. And that be your day, nigga. Like, you up, nigga. I'm gonna tell you. I'm at 300 views. Yeah. Nigga, we be so happy when a couple thousand watch this show. But then you look at such and such of a podcast, they got three million in a day. Everybody got to walk their path. And walk that shit proudly, Slim. Slow be you. motion, better than yeah. no motion. Man. Yeah. My mother, you're going to walk that shit down, bro. And as long as you stay true to yourself and fuck with yourself, yeah. understand that you is you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like That's why I even was glad to come on this thing, bro, because you're going to... You know what I'm saying? Ask what I need somebody to ask I appreciate ask me. you being on the show. For sure. You know what I'm Cause, saying? Because real shit, when they see you, right, they automatically want to hear what you got to say. You know that. And if you don't, I'm telling you, right? But I'm not saying you got to wear that shit on your shoulders. But what you doing naturally is why people fucking with that shit. And just keep doing what you're doing. And you seem confident in what you're doing. For sure. But keep doing that shit. And, um... We appreciate you coming on here. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate y'all. Each and every week, Floyd 118 Hot Thoughts. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't cut nothing off. Come on. Man, we said some shit. Don't OT say Ryan, shit. you got any questions? Oh, he said some questions in. Brandon, you sure? 
Anything, Anything. anybody. Anybody. You should. Come on. Talk to me. Know you? Why you ain't pushing the song? Talk, know niggas you? keep talking about that thing too. We was just in that thing the other day. <laughs> uh, come on, uh, man, cause I was never like big to putting like women in my videos. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna say women, cause I love the hell out some women. Yeah. But like bitches and hoes. Yeah, yeah, freak. Yeah. And then the bitch that's gonna give you everything that you want, you feel me? But I'm like, I wasn't really on it. Like them bitches and hoes, but they don't mean shit to me. Like I don't really give a fuck about no shit like that. I've been fucking bitches and hoes since I was motherfucking a child. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, then once I see what the fuck these bitches be doing now and what they willing to do for a dollar, hell no, nah, I'm not about to be your accomplice on that. You know what I'm saying? Like you risking that. it all. I ain't risking it all like that. I'm risking it all for mine, but I'm not risking it all like that. I ain't going to do the, the worst of the worst for that. No, nah, hell no. Nah. I like women. Got to be a bad woman. You feel me? Like, that's what I'm into. Yeah. But now, though, lately, I've been doing, like, solo videos. No niggas and that shit. It's me. But now I think I'm going to start, like, putting, like, you know what I'm saying, yeah. women in my shit, like. But just like respectful women, like you can shake some ass. Like I ain't worried about that. But little class to it though. You feel me? Just put some class on everything you do. You feel me? Like you somebody mama, you somebody sister, somebody you, daughter. You feel me? That just a little bit. Little. Do bit, women man. think that that's what men want? That trash shit? Like that's what they promote in every way. That is what men want. Okay. That is what men want. Men horny as shit yeah. right now. <laughs> they horny, man. Like they horny. Bro. Yeah, like, but I don't. I don't want. Man, I'm not gonna wife no bro. bitch like that. They horny, bro. Like it's not. It I'll fuck her. It don't even be about you. Like okay. it's about the other niggas that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's willing to pay. That's, a that's willing to do something. Like listen, I right, boom. The point of the day. It's straight to the camera. I'm telling y'all right now. This for bitches and niggas. Understand this. <laughs> if a bitch pussy is a hundred dollars, right? I got a hundred dollars. He got a hundred dollars. He got a hundred dollars. He got a any of us in here could pay for that pussy right yeah. now. But I'm a clean nigga. He got herpes. No, he got don't do that. Don't do that. Come on. I ain't knowing that. I got, you, I, got you, I got you. 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 I'm clean. He got herpes. He got AIDS. And <laughs> he got uh, syphilis. All that's got that $100 to hit that pussy, though. Yeah. You feel me? So, boom. Once I bust that, you know, I, I could have bust that out after the herpes, nigga. You never know. You know what I'm saying? So y'all niggas strap the fuck up because these bitches out here trifling, these niggas even trifling, they niggas be hitting boys and everything. That's a Fucking fact. freaky ass frogs. That's a fact. That's a fact. Straight Come up. Right back and hit your bitch. Straight you up. You think you fucking it up because you hitting her. Yeah, nah, that's, yeah, that's definitely the high thought. Strap the fuck Tie up. Tie it up. I'm telling y'all, all y'all got to do is tie it up, bro. The, the herpes rate is up. The AIDS rate is up, the syphilis rate is up, and the shit been up for a couple years now. Y'all just been ain't paying attention because y'all so horny, which I dick up. I'm trying to tell y'all, just go ahead, tighten up, get tested, wear condoms on my mother. That pussy gonna feel the same if she like you. The shit gonna feel like that with the condom on. It don't really matter if the bitch don't like you. The shit ain't gonna do nothing regardless. So just go ahead and tighten the fuck up. Yeah, shit ain't worth it. Your dick gonna fall off like looking like a nigga with leprosy or oh, something. God. Straight up. What Sit out here trifling. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Client. <laughs> Straight up. That shit crazy as shit, but it's too real. You know, niggas watching this looking at they self right now, pissing in the dark. Hey, man. Hey, look. Once you got that green shit coming out your it's shit, man, with. you know what the fuck you got going on. Yeah. You was fucking and it be the baddest hoes that gonna give you that shit, man. Yeah. It don't be them weak ass hoes that you be thinking. It be them bad hoes. Bad hoes mm -hmm. give you the worst mm -hmm. shit. I'm telling you, tighten the fuck up. Mm -hmm. It ain't worth it. I'm telling you. Bitch out here stinking everything. Yeah. You be like, damn, she fat as shit whole time. You smell that little booth. Mm -hmm. Kick her out. Yeah. Make her roll. PH off. Man, fuck the PH. H2O. <laughs> All that H2O, shit off. Yeah. Everything off. The, the power <laughs> off. The, the, the water off. Cause that's why she smell like oh, that. Water God, off. Water Everything off. off. Hell yeah. <laughs> fuck that. Stop nah, no question. fucking no question. with him. I'm telling you. Yeah, nah, you, you got to value your shit. Up. Value your shit, nigga. Hey, mm, my mm, nigga. Mm. <laughs>
You hear me though, cuz? Mm, mm, mm. Gots to be more careful. Any more questions? Y'all niggas thinking about who y'all texting tonight. I'm <laughs> telling y'all, y'all don't. Yeah, look at him. Nigga, he over there fucked yeah, up. He, he fucked like, up. He damn. Like, shit. Let me check her. Yeah, you night. freaky ass dude. Hey, yeah, chill he out. He look like a freak. <laughs> chill out, bro. He definitely chill a out. freaky. Chill out. I, I can tell. Yeah, you freaky can ass tell. nigga. You chill can out, my tell, nigga. Yeah. Chill out. Only fans category is mm, crazy mm, right mm, now. Look at you. That's why you keep going with this motherfucking camera. I don't want to say nothing. Should turn the camera on this motherfucker. Hey, man. Fuck with y'all. Each and every week, we be right back. Floyd 118, high thoughts. Salute. Hell yeah. Big flock. We signing out. You hear me? <laughs> well, well. Fuck it up, bud. See they on some different other shit Money say I'm Democrat, my hustle say Republican